hero that, that we can look up to. Uh, for me, my hero is Jameson Crowder. I personally followed him uh, my entire life through his rise to fame in the city of Monroe, the state of North Carolina, and eventually the NFL. It's always good to have an idol, just someone that you can watch, someone that you can learn from their mistakes and try and emulate what they do. It's essential for personal growth. Jameson Crowder is a, re a wide receiver for the Washington Redskins. Uh, his work ethic is something that stands out to me. He's always, always had to overcome this undersized brand that was placed on him. He's 5'8". Um, he's also very generous. He's very generous to the Monroe community that you know we are both from. And according to the Washington Post, uh, he FaceTimes his brother every week. His brother has Down syndrome showing that he has a massive, like massive amounts of love for his family. Jameson Crowder is somebody to me that is an idol because of his work ethic, the generosity to the community, and the deep love that he shows for his family. Like I previously said, Jameson has always had to overcome some type of adversity. He was born and raised in Monroe, uh, underprivileged, but always stayed out of trouble. Him and his friends were never <coughs> Him and his friends were never in any type of trouble throughout all of their years growing up. Um, according to the Washington Post, uh, scouts, NFL scouts <coughs> are telling him that he has every single technical ability needed to play in the NFL, but he's just unfortunately undersized. Uh, coming out of high school, he was not heavily scouted in football. He was actually a basketball player, a pretty good one, all state, won a state championship with Monroe. Uh, but according to Brad Gann from the Bleacher Report, a Duke scout actually watched him at a basketball game and offered him a football scholarship. One of the funny things is, though, is that the scout wasn't even there to originally watch him. He was there to watch one of his friends. When he arrived at Duke uh, later that year in the fall, he worked hard to earn a starting spot after his freshman year. <coughs> Um, after he graduated from Duke and led them to an ACC championship a couple years ago, he was drafted in the late rounds by the Washington Redskins, and he performed extremely well, according to ESPN, NFL.com, that in every practice, film session, scrimmage, preseason game, he performed to the best of his ability. And then after his rookie year, his, he became a second year <coughs> starter, and halfway through the year, he led the Washington, a talented Washington Redskins receiving core in absolutely everything. Touchdowns, yards, catches, yards after the catch, targets, everything. And that's according to ESPN and NFL.com. Even through his quick rise to fame, he never forgot where he came from. Uh, I have a cool little story that I actually saw him in Monroe, North Carolina, in a gym that's the only one in Monroe. But he's in there bench pressing like probably like 225 pounds, like he eat cake, nothing. And there's little kids all around him just watching him. He's got his Washington Redskins book like right here opened up to like his workout plan, just absolutely grinding. And these little kids are like, oh my God, it's Jameson Crafter. <laughs> um, and what's also really exciting is that he gives back. He goes and Monroe High School holds these football camps that he shows up to and that him and other talented players from Monroe, they give them advice and they're just making sure that like the kids who are underprivileged are like out there having a good time and that's according to the Union County Weekly. Even though Jameson Crowder was far from his family during the college and the pros, uh, he loved them like very much and he showed this with his actions. He has a special bond with his brother uh, that's, he has a special bond with his brother who has Down syndrome. They did an interview on him in his junior year, I think, from the ACC Digital Network that Jameson had to mature rapidly growing up because both of his parents were out working and he had to take care of his brother. But his brother cannot communicate with words. Um, according to the Washington Post, uh, one of the Duke coaches said that throughout his career that it was evident that the brotherly love helped him mature to be a leader during his Duke career. Um, to wrap it up, Jameson pays every week for his family, every single home game that they have the Washington Redskins to come and watch with and to come and watch him. He pays for their travel from Monroe to DC.
Jameson Crowder has greatly influenced my life. He has taught me to never give up on my dreams. Don't forget about where you're from and where you were raised. I just leave you, ask you one question. Who has inspired your life? Um, if it's a hometown hero like mine, you know, find him one day, show him some love, tell him thank you for inspiring you. Yeah.